Hello, this is Model Fun, and you are watching Bristol Beaufort Build Part 4. In this video, I will add decals, weather the model with oil paints and wash, and make the final assembly. The start point is the shiny model prepared for decals in part 3 of the build. I only make sure the surface under the decal is nice and smooth, so I do quick wet sanding with 7000 grit sandpaper. A microset solution I use on the surface before I put the decal on. And after it's on the right spot, I remove the air and microset with a cotton swab. Later, I use Microsol to, soft, to soften the decal and after I let it react with decal for a, for a while, I press it to make sure it look as realistic as possible. Sometimes I help it with a toothpick. The only challenge with decals I see in the is the red letter placement on the side. Because it overlaps a wing edge, I cut it with this sharp blade. Overall, I think the decals in this kit are very good and easy to work with. At the end, I cover them with light coat of gloss varnish. Very light chipping I make with Vallejo steel color. To add a random chips, I use a sponge. I also use a dry brush technique with the same steel color to add some scratches on the edges. On the spots where I want to be more precise, I use a metallic pen. The metallic pen is a nice tool and can be corrected quickly in case it adds too much. To highlight panel lines, I use oil wash and when it's dry I remove the excess with a cotton swab or brush and white spirit. To add some stains, 
and dirt I use an oil paint. My favorite part of the build is to peel off all masking from clear parts. And with this model, there is a lot to work on. The antenna wire is the last step. I use an elastic rigging from Amo and put it on the CA glue. And here it is. Let me know in the comments what you think of this build. And do not forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already. Thank you for watching and see you next time.